directed by Christopher Nolan, Oppenheimer tells the story of J. Robert Oppenheimer and his involvement in the creation of the atomic bomb. And leading up to the release of this film, there has been a lot of hype due to the fact that this is a Christopher Nolan project. And this movie's dual release with Greta Gerwig's Barbie has turned this into kind of a cultural phenomenon and a must-see movie in cinemas, which I'm so happy to see because Oppenheimer is an absolute masterpiece. For starters, on a pure technical level, this is one of the best movies I've ever seen and maybe one of the best movies of all time. The cinematography here is incredible. This movie is gorgeous. There is stunning shots of the American countryside mixed with some beautiful black and white shots and all of that is just fantastic. The sound mix here is also incredible too and if given the opportunity please see Oppenheimer in the best possible theater you can. It is truly an experience unlike anything I've ever seen before in a cinema and honestly this is one of the best theatrical experiences I've had ever probably. This is a must-see movie in cinemas and just you have to check it out in theaters. And none of this wouldn't be possible without the amazing cast. This movie is stacked, like Saving Private Ryan levels of stack. The cast here is incredible, but obviously I have to talk about my main man, Killian Murphy, because he is incredible in this movie. I feel like everything that needs to be said about his performance has already been said, but it is just as good as everyone is saying that it is. He is truly fantastic in this movie. The level of intensity that he brings to this project is truly unlike anything I've seen in a very long time. And he has best actor in the bag at this point. I don't even see anyone else who could really compete at this point. And the rest of the cast here is also amazing too. As I said, there are so many people in the cast and I can't spend this entire video just going through everyone. But just know I think everyone is amazing in this film and perfectly cast. But some standouts in my eyes were definitely Josh Hartnett, Emily Blunt, and Robert Downey Jr. I also like Benny Safdie a lot. I think those four just perfectly exemplify why I love this movie so much. All four are perfectly cast. I love the way these characters are written and performed and everything about the cast in this movie is just perfect. This is the best cast I've seen in a movie ever. It's just so good. Now, huge part of Christopher Nolan's films is the practical filmmaking and that is on full display in Oppenheimer. There is no CGI in this movie at all. There's not one shot featuring CGI which is absolutely mind-blowing. The scene where they set off the atomic bomb, quite honestly, it might be the greatest sequence ever put to film. I was in complete awe, and the moment that it cuts to silence when the bombs go off was just truly breathtaking. The amount of anxiety and stress that I felt leading up to them dropping the bomb, the countdown, it was just complete immersion and everything about it was just fantastic. I wish I could experience that sequence again for the first time because it's truly amazing and it's helped by Ludwig Gorson's fantastic score. And I hate to say this, but usually I will overlook a film score, but the one here is just so strong and prevalent and it's really stuck with me. So yeah, it just, the score here just makes the movie even better. And also another great thing about this film is the pacing. This movie is over three hours long. This is an R-rated biopic. It's very adult and it's dialogue driven. And this is the type of film that we rarely see. And when it does come out, it flops. And I'm so happy that this film is doing so well. But I do think this is different in the way compared to a lot of other R-rated biopics that tend to be, you know, two and a half hours to three hours. Because Oppenheimer is a very fast paced film. They are packing in over 25 years of history into a three hour long movie. So the movie moves at a very quick pace. There's a lot of time jumping around. Obviously that's something Nolan likes to experiment a lot in with his films. You have a lot of different ongoing storylines taking place at different times. And as the film goes on, you get, get to see how these sort of interweave with each other and how they relate. And I thought that was great. It added a very intriguing, you know, level to the film because the film begins and you know you understand what's going on but there is a certain mystery element where you don't exactly understand how the Robert Downey Jr. storyline relates to the main storyline of them dropping the bomb it, and the way everything culminates in the third act is absolutely incredible I am so happy to see Oppenheimer is doing so well because I think this movie is just such a special one it's so rare that we get a film like this that is as adult driven as it is it's r-rated it's a biopic it's three hours long it's very dialogue heavy it seems like this movie had everything going against it but it has pulled through it's going to be one of the biggest movies of the year it has the possibility to be the highest grossing r-rated movie of all time if it continues at the rate that it's going and i'm just ecstatic to see this this is the perfect movie to see in theaters on a packed summer night with a huge crowd i mean come on there's nothing else to say about Oppenheimer besides the fact that this movie is an absolute masterpiece. If you haven't seen the film, 
check it out right now. What are you doing? This is the best movie of the year so far. I'm so happy that this movie is out and just doing so well and it's as good as it is. And yeah, if you have seen the film, definitely make sure to let me know your thoughts down below in the comments. Also, make sure to drop a like and subscribe if you haven't done so already. And I'll be back very soon with some brand new content. This is Shai Sanov. Peace out.